Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest sports classics 2017 video where I show the best fully upgraded sports classic cars in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check that original sports classics video, but otherwise let's see where the new Cheetah Classic falls into that list and it actually gives us a new option at the very top of the sports classics class falling into second place overall for the class. It's significantly ahead of the Infernus Classic, which is now in third place. And with the one minute 4.9 lap time that it gets, it's only about three tenths of a second slower than the Turismo Classic. And I would say that it's, it's somewhat easier to handle when pushing it to the limit than the, the Turismo Classic. It, it, it's basically giving us another option for if you've tried the Turismo Classic and you don't like it, it might be that the Cheetah Classic is the one to go for. Obviously that difference in lap time is only three tenths of a second, so they are very, very close. We will also see how it fares in terms of top speed tomorrow, but basically it's it's turned the Sports Classic class from essentially what had become uh, with the introduction of the Turismo Classic, a one vehicle class that was the only vehicle that you could really use, it's turned what, is, what had become a one vehicle class into a two vehicle class. The Infernus Classic and the Sterling are on the same pace in third and fourth, but they are in, enough off the pace of the top two that really in a realistic high level racing situation you're not going to be able to use them. So the Cheetah Classic sort of fills that gap, it fills that hole in second place overall just behind the Turismo Classic and it's quite a nice car to drive you know it's not too bad it's not necessarily the easiest but I would say that it is a little bit easier than the Turismo Classic it doesn't respond to quick changes in movement very well but under normal circumstances you know in a racing situation it is a very very quick car and you know the Turismo Classic was a, a, a completely different league to everything else in the sports classes class when it was released and this is just you know adding to that so it's a very very quick car for the class as you can see from the comparison the two cars are very very close together as well and really you can choose either of these in a racing situation uh, just basically choose which one that you like the most depending on your own personal preferences so like i said the top speed testing for this car will be coming tomorrow but you know it is one of those classic gta vehicles all the way back from gta 3 and into vice city it, it's probably a car that a lot of people might buy completely independent of its uh, of its performance but at least it's good to know that it is at least on the pace at the top of the sports classic class and you can use this car in sports classic races if you really want to so that's pretty much it obviously remember to read the description for more info comment with your thoughts like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful and subscribe for more thank you all so much for watching i really really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time